Welcome back everyone, Dustin here again, Average Guy Hi-Fi. I've been kind of dreading making this video because I know what happens when I do make these videos is that the equipment that I end up reviewing ends up selling. So, and unfortunately I don't have endless funds at my, uh, my disposal, so, and this is a pretty small channel, so the money that I spent on this thing, it's already, somebody already got a buyer out there, sorry people. Um, he actually texted me when I started recording this video. So, um, he, uh, this is just one of those things where I love it. I'm a gearhead though, and that's probably why this channel is really working. I like the process of holding this equipment, this home audio equipment in my hands, the speakers, the subwoofers, the amplifiers. Um, giving my own impressions and then sharing them with you guys. And that's really what I think is resonating because I'm kind of trying to help out people that are just starting out. I'm not trying to get into the real detailed stuff. Um, if you guys want a more detailed review of this subwoofer, uh, check out Youthman. He's a, uh, been a big help to this channel. He's been helping me kind of spread the word. So shout out to Youthman, but check out his um, review. He actually had two of these SB16 Ultras. He's since replaced them, um, but I mean, he really loved them. He shows you the app. I can't show you the app because I'm using my phone to record this. That shows you how small this channel is. Um, but again, this is um, one of those channels where if I'm just trying to help out the beginners out there, I would have loved this information if I was just starting out and it seems to be resonating well with people um, instead of the super detailed stuff. The gearhead in me just loves holding it. I'll give you guys my honest opinions. I'm using my own money to buy this stuff. so. Nobody's sending me equipment or anything yet, so I'm just literally going out purchasing it if it's something that I think I can get my money back out of it, then, um, and I'm selling everything for what I paid for it, I'm not flipping or anything. So it's been fun. This You guys have given me a reason to go out and um, invest in more audio equipment. And basically what I'm doing is I'm taking that money that I've got invested in this equipment and I'll sell it and then I'll take that money and put it back into new equipment. And it's really uh, kind of fast tracked what I've been doing the last 20 years or so with buying uh, used home audio equipment or good deals in home audio equipment and then testing it out and then moving on to the next. So it's a little bit obsessive compulsive. So I apologize about that. Um, but I think it works for the channel. That way you guys get my actual impressions of this gear. And that's kind of the plan. Just kind of more cater it towards the beginners that aren't out there trying to look for the, um, the graphs and the charts and trying to get the just everything perfect. This is more for people, dip your toe in the water, jump into this hobby. It's gonna be very fun, especially with the situation that we have going on with COVID and all that stuff. I'm not gonna get political, but um, people are really investing in their home theater systems. And hopefully this type of information for those people that weren't obsessive compulsive like I am with this stuff, can learn a little something here, at least enough to educate themselves so when they go into a store or if they look for stuff on uh, use, they have some information. Anyway, um, again, check out Youthman's video. He shows you the app, he shows you the speakers in action, and he goes more into details with the, um, the specifics. This is kind of a funny angle here. This subwoofer weighs 120 pounds, so it's sitting on top of a poor little Velodyne subwoofer that I got there below it to prop it up. Otherwise, it would just smash my little table over there. So I apologize about this awkward angle, but got to use what I got here. So um, again, the SVS SB16 Ultra is um, SVS's uh, flagship sealed subwoofer. Here's a close-up of the grill. Kind of that iconic SVS metal grill that we're all so used to these days. But when it first came out, um, there was a lot of love it or hate it. I actually like it. I think it makes it, it give it a nice industrial look. So the kind of some of the details of this subwoofer, again, it weighs 122 pounds, so it's a very heavy subwoofer. It's pretty large. Um, it's about 20 inches square, um, roughly around there, if you guys want to kind of plan ahead. Um, it's got the gloss finish, and it has the Sledge STA 1500D amplifier, which is, this is the most uh, powerful amplifier I've ever owned for a personal subwoofer of mine. I've gotten up to 1200 watts a bunch of times, but 1500 watts, this is the most powerful. And that's the um, RMS wattage. So the SVS says that it's actually 5,000 watts peak um, if everything is in the optimum condition and everything with your, with your power. Now you're gonna start testing your home's uh, electrical system if you get up there in that much power. Um, but yeah, it just has, it has the balanced connections. It has um, balanced inputs, balanced outputs. It has your line level output, your line level input, and then it also has the LFE. So it's pretty simple. Um, not a whole lot of dials and everything like that on the back, which is kind of nice because this thing is so heavy, you wouldn't want to be crawling back there if you wanted to change some um, some settings. But that's what they give you this little L, uh, LED screen up for. Again, I'm a blue light guy. I just love Emotiva, Marantz. I know some people, it's not cool to say that you like the lights in your system and all that stuff, but guess what? I like them. And that's, that's the only thing that really matters is kind of what you guys like. So it has this, um, you can adjust the volume on it. Uh, you can adjust the phase, you can adjust a whole bunch of options, but mainly what most people I think are doing, I would show you, but again, uh, my phone is the only way that uh, you can get the app on it, at least uh, that's the way I had it set up. Um, 
youth man will show you the app though he goes through and shows you that pretty pretty good job doing that um, but it has an app so you can kind of control it from the seat of your uh, your main listening position and make adjustments um, on kind of just on the fly which is really nice so some details about the uh, woofer it's a 16 inch um, diameter woofer so it's a a very large subwoofer this is actually the largest i've ever owned um, i've owned a ton of 15 inch subwoofers but never a 16. Uh, this subwoofer is a little bit special though. It has a fiberglass resin um, composite material. Kind of looks like carbon fiber if you get a close up of it. It has the SVS logo in the middle there. That's the little green sticker that I use for um, excursion videos, which I'll be showing you right up here next. Um, and it has an eight inch um, a voice coil um, uh, woofer. I mean, this is just a very, if you guys have seen pictures of the the subwoofer itself, I mean, it is a deep unit. It is a high powered uh, subwoofer. It's very heavy, hence the 122 pounds. Um, the frequency response is uh, 16 hertz to uh, 460 hertz plus or minus 3 dB. So it is just a monster. Anytime you get down there in the teens when it comes to frequency response, um, it takes a lot to do that, especially in a sealed uh, configuration like this one is. You know, the dream would be for me to hang on to this one and add another one down the road when a good deal on it popped up, but I just can't have this much money tied up in subwoofers. So unfortunately, like I mentioned, I've got to let this one go. And that's really why I was dreading making this video because the person really, really wants it. And I would love to, I'm going to be happy to see him go home and hear their impressions of it. And that's kind of what this whole vibe of this channel is. Passing on the good deals that I get to other people, hopefully beginners out there or um, younger people out there that are just dipping their toes in the hobby. I'll just give you kind of my advice, kind of my 20 year journey doing all this stuff. So next up, we're gonna jump right into the, um, kind of where I show you the excursion of this subwoofer and it is a total monster. My poor neighbors had a baby not too long ago, so I'm not gonna go too crazy with this thing. Um, it literally shakes the floors. Um, I'm on an elevated floor in this duplex and my neighbors are actually just give you a little layout here it goes living room here kitchen there and then it goes my bedroom and then my neighbors are on the wall that my bedroom sides on um so i try to be i mean they're really nice people so i'm not trying to upset them or anything but i can show you kind of short bursts a couple minutes of this thing playing in action but it causes my floor to um feel like it's moving around i had a a bowl of soup the other day <laughs> over there eating a bowl of soup and the subwoofer is actually putting big ripples in my soup while i was eating it so this is no doubt a very powerful subwoofer the most powerful I've ever owned. Probably not the most output I've ever had. You know, I have owned the uh, Rhythmic FV 15HP, uh, which is the big ported 15-inch uh, version Rhythmic, which would probably be pretty close to this, but it would be neck and neck. Um, just once you get up to this level, obviously you can do way more with DIY and you can do way more with 18-inch woofers. And this isn't the highest performing subwoofer on the market, but what this is, is one of the better performing um, subwoofers on the market in a compact package that is just beautiful. This is furniture grade, grade quality. I would put up there with the um, quality of many of the uh, REL subwoofers or REL, however you are out there in the world, um, subwoofers that I've owned over the years as well too. So, and that's saying something. They put a lot of, uh, both companies put a ton of um, emphasis on um, the looks, not alone, but also the performance. And I think there's people out there like that, me, that are willing to pay a little bit of a premium um, to get those looks and included uh, with the performance. It's just kind of a win-win. So I'll quit rambling. I actually chose Interstellar um, for this this demo here. I actually picked it up in 4K a couple days ago. It was on sale. So um, I love that movie. I had it in Blu-ray, but it was worth me to uh, invest in the 4K version. Just love the soundtrack, love the movie. So stay tuned. We'll show you guys this subwoofer in action.
I hope you guys enjoyed the demo portion. I mean, Interstellar in 4K is just phenomenal. It does pop up on sale every once in a while. I believe, truly believe, um, that that's one of those discs worth owning. Um, just love the soundtrack, the visuals, everything. Just a fantastic movie. So, uh, pops up on sale. I think I grabbed it for around 17 bucks. so you guys should check it out. Um, what I have sitting next to me, many of you astute subscribers will already know what this is, but this will be upcoming for a future video here. I've got so much equipment, really cool stuff that I can't wait to show for you guys. Plus, I bought some stuff for myself. Usually, it's uh, just for the channel, but I picked up a couple of cool things that uh, I think you guys will like, too. So those will be kind of coming up. This, I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to get to those, but um, just I'm as excited about owning these as I am about that SVS subwoofer, just to give you guys an idea. I've really, really wanted to try these out, so snagged them not too long ago. Um, now we're on to the uh, average guy hi-fi scoring section of the video. And we go off of five sets of criteria and each section is worth 10 points, 10 being the best. So the five categories are quality. Uh, we go off of when I'm measuring subwoofers, we go off the base response. Uh, we go off of the MSRP pricing, kind of where it stacks up to the competition. Uh, we go off of the looks, um, how I think the looks of the, the subwoofer was in my room. And then we go off of my price paid, and then I average those out and give you guys the average guy hi-fi score. So we'll just jump right into it. From a quality uh, standpoint, this is the only the second 10 I've given out. I gave it a 10 out of 10. The quality of the um, gloss finish, the quality of the grill, the quality of the uh, LCD screen, the woofer, the amplifier, the packaging, the literally everything. Um, I don't, I've only given out a couple tens, like I said, so you have to really, really earn those, and I'm trying to reserve those for the top, but you'd be hard pressed to find a better quality subwoofer um, in this price point. Obviously, you can spend way more, you know, funk audio, things like that, and uh, probably beat the quality, but you're talking double the price point of this subwoofer uh, at an MSRP pricing of $2,000 for what SVS was able to do um, with that woofer, the amplifier, the app, the remote. I think that um, it's just a fantastic, it's not a cheap subwoofer, so I don't mean to make it sound like that, but for that price point, for what you get, super impressed, 10 out of 10 when it comes to quality, SVS, very well done. Um, when it comes to the bass response, I gave it a 9.5. It it edged out that rhythmic, um, that sealed rhythmic uh, 15 HP subwoofer that I had, um, that I had here for review. That thing was a monster. Again, that was the other subwoofer that I had issues clipping the microphone, had to do some adjustments, turn down the volume, things like that, just so I could handle that little bitty room that I got over there. Uh, a lot of these subwoofers, like that SVS, are just massive overkill uh, in a room like that, but. Many of you out there will say there's no such thing as overkill. It's much better to have overhead, and I do agree with that. But if you don't listen to things quite as loud as um, a lot of people out there do, I tend to start getting a little bit uncomfortable around 100 dB. So I generally like watching movies, good action movies, to where it's a 100 dB peak, kind of right around that 95 dB, dB range um, is kind of where I'm most comfortable. And I'm getting older, and I don't want my hearing to go out on me either, too. I want to enjoy this hobby for a very long time. 9.5 when it comes out of the bass response. That subwoofer is um, probably probably the uh, most powerful subwoofer I've ever owned. Like I said, I have owned the Rhythmic FVH or the the ported version of the um, FV. 15 HP subwoofer, these model numbers, um, way back. I think I was like the first person or like second person in Washington to have that rhythmic subwoofer, somewhere around there. I think when I was talking to Brian when he first started things that it was one of the original people around Washington to end up with that one because it had just come out. And that thing was just a total monster, but it was bigger, ported, all that. This um, SVS subwoofer has, I, li I seem to like sealed subwoofers. I know some of you out there are like, oh no, I'm a ported guy only. But for whatever reason, reason my ears um, seem to like sealed subwoofers better. I think that the uh, room gain and the, the frequency, resp I just like the impact. I like how tight they are. Um, I know that ported subwoofers can be just as tight and all that stuff. But for whatever reason, I prefer it sealed. So I know that's kind of like Xbox versus PlayStation or Ford versus Chevy, but I like sealed subwoofers. So in um, that room over there, the amount of bass that that subwoofer put out, I'm not even stretching its legs in the slightest. Uh, that woofer has way more, but again, I don't have um, I don't have a house, so I playing at that volume for a minute or a minute and a half. I know that they were hearing it, so after this video, I'm going to go over there and apologize about doing that. But um, for people with houses, dedicated rooms, especially if you're on a slab, you need to throw huge power at these uh, rooms, especially if they're bigger, uh, to pressurize it. And that's what it's really all about, energizing the room. So you're in, it's like you're in an actual movie theater where you feel the impact, you hear the bass. That subwoofer over there, 
Um, we'll definitely do that, especially if you could do the subwoofer crawl and get it optimized in most houses. That will fill a large room, no problem, with uh, lots of bass. Uh, no, should be 99% of the people out there. It's the, the people that have the 418s and all that type of stuff. Those are the people that chime in on the forums. are like, nope, that's, you know, this is, this is what you need. But for the average person like me, name of the channel, uh, this will be overkill for the majority of people out there. Plus, um, SBS has killer customer service. Um, there's a whole bunch that kind of goes into that. Base response, 9.5 out of, 5, 9 .5 out of 10. Uh, the MSRP value is 8 out of 10. And it's still a killer value at $2,000, but again, it's $2,000. And when there's brands out there like PSA, Rhythmic, um, Outlaw Audio... Uh, I mean, the list kind of goes on and on. There's a bunch of different subwoofer brands out there that are making very high quality subwoofers for amazing prices. Uh, Shoe just might be the the price champion these days. Uh, dual ULF S15s might be what I end up choosing because it's within my budget. I would love to have two of those uh, SB16 Ultras in my theater, but that's $4,000 in subwoofers. And I can get dual uh, ULS uh, shoe subwoofers for much, much less. So um, I like the prettiness of those over there, the SB16 uh, Ultra, and I'm sure when you compare them side by side to the ULS 15 that the SBS 16 Ultra would win, but it's gonna be pretty close. And again, I'm not a total nut job when it comes to how loud I listen to things. So that might be what I end up with, but I haven't quite decided yet. That'll be down the road. Eight out of 10 when it comes to MSRP, because there are brands like Shoe, because there's brands like PSA and and um, rhythmic and things like that that actually have very high performing subwoofers for quite a bit less so eight out of ten still a high score just there's better out there um, when it comes to looks department 9.5 out of 10 that's a beautiful sub i'm a modern guy if you guys can't tell from my furniture and kind of a minimalist um, minimalist i know with a 16 inch woofer but for how compact it is for the finish that it comes with for the blue light on the LED, uh, led screen everything no doubt about it, this is a beautiful subwoofer, probably the best looking subwoofer I've ever owned. So, um, and some of you out there don't care, and I totally appreciate that opinion too. They're like, it's just going to my dark theater, you're never gonna see it, I would never choose gloss black. But for people like me that live in um, smaller places or have modern styling and you can't get away with these big kind of um, bedliner type subwoofers, which will give you the most bang for the buck, no doubt. Um, if you put a premium on looks like I do, almost as much as it comes to the performance, then um, this one right here rated very, very high. 9.5 out of 10 when it comes to looks. Uh, my price paid, I haven't even gotten to that part yet, but I gave it a nine out of 10. I initially went into Best Buy. I mean, some of you are gonna think this is crazy, but I thought it was crazy at the time too, but the, he made me such a good deal that I couldn't refuse. So initially went into Best Buy and ended up picking up um, that Marantz SR7013 got an open box deal on it, just a smoking deal on it. And I was, I was checking out, um, he's, he knows me because I bought a bunch of stuff from him. He's like, do you need anything else? And I was like, I don't know, you got any good deals on subwoofer, open box subwoofers. And he told me that that one came in um, and he made me a smoking deal on it. It was uh, $1,300 plus tax for an SBS SB16 Ultra with the full warranty, all of that type of stuff. So killer deal on that subwoofer and like i said i've already got it sold the gentleman has texted me twice since i've been recording this video and it looks like we're going to be meeting up this weekend uh, i will be very sad to see that subwoofer go that's kind of like you know i'm in a lot of your guys shoes i don't have unlimited money so i, I it's like i can't keep it you know financially it's irresponsible for me to keep that thing plus at this point in time with where i'm living it just it just doesn't it doesn't fit very well it's just too much i would it would be like having a lamborghini and going 35 with it so um, I'm going to pass that on. It's going to a good home. This gentleman's uh, let me borrow some speakers for the channel to review too. Another uh, fellow audio fan. So I look forward to hearing what he says about this thing once he unleashes it in his house. So um, my price paid nine out of 10. Um, getting this subwoofer for uh, $1,300 plus tax is a killer deal. Probably one of the best out there, I would say. It's mint condition, the whole deal. Um, so what's that average out to? It averages out to 46 out of 50, which is 92%. This is one of the, the one of the highest scoring, and it is the highest scoring subwoofer that I have reviewed. And again, eventually I'm going to put that um, into a, some type of a chart and make it look pretty and be able to show you guys this so I can show things stacking up. You know, I'm a big Top Gear fan when that show was around. And I like the leaderboard, um, but something in a digital form, I think once I kind of get some help on that end, I think that's what I'm going to end up putting together. This video went long, but this video was special for me. You know, usually when I pick up deals, you guys are seeing that I, I get like $200 speakers, um, things like that. So I had to kind of jump up my game a little bit to grab this, but I knew that that deal wouldn't last long and I knew I can get my money back out of it. So that was the reason that I purchased it. Now I've owned it. 
when it comes down to me making my decision, if I ever get a house big enough to where I have a dedicated theater, that one will definitely be in the runnings because it just checks a lot of the boxes. And I, I strongly believe in SVS. Um, their customer service is just phenomenal. Uh, shout out to all you guys at SVS Subwoofers. Um, every time I've ever had to deal with them, I mean, it's, it's like you're dealing with a very professional organization. It's like Martin Logan, but even maybe a step up. I'm a big Martin Logan customer service fan too. But the follow-up from the team, hey, Dustin, you know, is this, is this going on? So I, everything was just just amazing when I've ever dealt with them. So shout out to all the SBS people out there. That's the reason that your guys' brand's taken off. And that's the reason you're not probably the price leaders anymore, but um, your customer service is really, um, it's appreciated by many out there and you guys stand by your product. So I'll always be a SVS fan um, supporter and, and a um, person that always tries to point people towards SVS. So um, again, 92%, uh, that SB16 Ultra, just amazing. Um, sad day when it's going to leave, but that's this weekend. So if this is the type of stuff you guys are into, um, trying to get deals on audio equipment, um, listening to just an average person that's out there just going to give you guys kind of the simple information. There's people like Youth Man and Techno Dad and things like that that dig into the details a little bit more, and I'm not trying to emulate them or anything. I'm trying to do my own thing. Um, and it seems to be working. So hopefully I can carve my own little niche out here and I'll keep this going. This is a passion of mine, if you guys can't tell. So it would just be a dream of mine if I could turn this as actually into a career. I have a great job that I love, but if this could be my job, then there would be big things for this channel. So keep helping me continue to support the channel, spread the word, it's working. And again, thank you guys very much. My name is Dustin. The name of the channel is Average Guy Hi-Fi.